Hello there. It is I, the one and only, literally unplayable. I am here today about to check out Jack Axe, one of the many, many demos that the Indie Houses has provided me for me to check out early, uh, make some content, and inform you, the viewer, of the new and upcoming indie games. As you can see in the top left corner, you can already wishlist it on Steam. Um, there's actually two variations of this game. So there's Jack Axe, which is what I'm about to try. Um, there's no demo available online yet or on Steam, but you can wishlist it to follow along with its development and once it's released. Um, the one thing that is available is Jack Axe The Trial. What is Jack Axe? Jack Axe The Trial. It is basically a speedrunning competition that is currently happening on Steam. So you can download the game for free and then you play through this like trial level and whoever has the fastest score on this uh, Jack Axe The Trial will get something. I forget exactly what it is. I think you get your name put in the game or you get to design a character uh, or a level. I don't know. But there is a reward for whoever has the fastest time in this uh, trial. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, after you've seen me play through the demo of Jack Axe, you can definitely go check that out on Steam. Um, and if not, if you'd rather just stick to the actual game, uh, that's what I'm going to be showcasing right now. And if it's something that you like, then you can uh, wishlist it on Steam. But enough talking, let's get to it. Let's check out Jack Axe and let's see what this game is all about. Alright, so how do we play this game? Okay. Okay, so apparently C is our... Okay. You jump with C instead of spacebar. Okay, is there a way to change that? Because I would like to change that. Control configuration. Up, down. Yeah, why is jump C and not space? That is so weird. Um, you can throw stuff with X. Wait, you use, you dash and you throw stuff with X. Okay. Um, if I go back to default keys. Wait, what's that? Did not change? Okay. Can I play this with a controller? That might be easier. Okay, cool. We can play with a controller. Perfect. To jump, throw, and dash, recall, interact, confirm. Okay, yeah. Let's let's play this one with a controller. This might be easier than on keyboard. Hi there. Okay. Um, yeah, so I should have said, going into this game, I had no idea what this game was like. Um, oh. Oh, cool. I didn't know I could do it. Oh, I can do wall jumps. Um, yeah, I had no idea what this game was like, and it seems to me that it's, uh, like a side-scroller. I don't think it's quite a Metroidvania. Um. But it does have... Oh, okay. It does almost look like a Metroidvania, but it, honestly, you know what it looks like more? And I'm sure you're all thinking it at home. It looks more like a Mario game. Um... Oh, what? Oh, and you lose your coins? What? Well, that's crap. Yeah, th this definitely feels more like a Mario game. But you can do wall jumps. I mean, you can do wall jumps in Mario too. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, a side scroller with a little bit of like um uh platforming. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, so I was trying to say going into this game, I had no idea what this was. Um I kind of just like picked it up and uh, went for it. And this is kind of cool. I like it. We got our axe! He needs the axe! Okay, so we throw the axe. Oh, I see. So we throw the axe and we can uh, zoom to it. Okay. Ah! I found a rune. 
Okay, no fall damage, nice. Throw axe plus dash. No! Ah! I almost died. Okay, I see. I see what's happening. I I am picking up what the game is putting down. Oh, and I can break the ice. Very nice. No! Oh, I can jump? I can jump it. Wait, I have a double jump to begin? No, I don't. No, okay, so we don't have a double jump. can't break through these? That's kind of annoying. Okay. Can I... Oh, I can't angle it. No! Damn it! Really? Yeah, fuck you. Oh my god, no! What? How did I not get the rune? I forget that in order to... What do you call it? Uh, dash, I need to... Oh, no! Damn it. I need to press X. Really? Bullshit! Man, why are all the games that I'm playing right now all punishing games? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, I see what that is. So enemies can respawn. Oh my god. Nice. Alright, so that just takes us back. So let's keep going to the right. Let's see what we find. Oh my gosh, I almost hit that enemy. I would have been so annoyed. I don't like how you lose your coins, though. That's kind of annoying. Oh my god. No! Oh man, this is gonna be- this is gonna be a hard platform. No! I hesitated. Damn it. No, what?! Damn. Okay, whoo! I almost hit that. Nice. I hope these runes are like really important. <laughs> Cause I'm losing all my coins to get them. I wonder if these runes are like the stars. Oh, no! Wait, I killed it nice. I thought it hit me. No! Damn it! I 
Let's just get out of there. <laughs> Alright, so this, this game's kind of punishing? Like, holy crap! <laughs> oh man, now I gotta go back up. Alright, well, at least I can get some coin. Boss fight? No, it's just the next day. Oh, you're a friend. <laughs> I can't climb because of these bats. Okay, then just kill them. What? Okay, clearly I can't do it. Stop, just die! Oh my god! No! Damn it. I wonder... After I wall jump, can I... Does wall jump reset my throwing of the X? No, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, so what are these runes for? Um, also, sorry if I seem a little quiet. I'm still mauling over the last, uh, the last freaking demo I played that kind of, like, kicked my ass. And I'm trying to, like, process and recover. But I'm, I'm okay. I'm here. Um, so far I'm liking this. This is, uh, I mean, it's pixelated, which is something that I'm not a huge fan of. But looking past the, the gameplay, it seems pretty fun. Um, very similar to Mario, like, the level design seems very similar to Mario games. And I, li I do like this whole uh, axe uh, maneuverability. Did you know our ancestors used to travel using magical shrines? Really? What is this supposed to do? I wonder... So then I can do this. Aha! Uh -huh. I guess that's what it's for. Oh, okay. Oh, here. Come come here, bat, so that I can open that door. Yeah. That's an expensive-ass door. <laughs> And it sucks because, like, getting hit means that you lose your coins. Game's uh, kind of brutal in that regard. How do I uh, pick this up? Oh, it just follows me. Okay, cool. Nice. Th does, doesn't that mean I'm just gonna fall down? Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what it means. 
Nice. Can't believe that I actually made. Nice. Okay. Cool. Now we can uh, head up. Alright, so I want to know what these runes are for. Because the game has me collecting them like they're stars. No, what? the coins respawn no that was that damn it okay oh man i can see the potential of this game to be like a speed running game like i can definitely see people zooming sumi sumis with it oh hello Yeah, and like it, it feels very like a Mario game in the sense that it's like really easy to like pick up and play. Like the, like the combat's really simple. I'm about to die. Okay, good. No, no. It's just punishing with how. No, come on. That's nonsense. It's just kind of brutal with the losing of coins. I supposed to do something? Oh, I see. I think, and I think it's timed because I do hear a like a a clock ticking. Don't mind me. I'm just enjoying the cool breeze. Nice view up here. If you say so. Fast travel. Okay, we can fast travel now. That's cool. No, what did he say? These elevators are so weird. Are they elevators? Oh, okay. No! Damn it. What? So they, they activate whenever I jump. No! Oh, no! Why did I do that? Let's see. Like I said, the, the game seems like the combat seems pretty simple. Uh, nothing like super complicated. Really? You little shit! I don't like how enemies are respawning though. That's kind of annoying. Boss fight. Oh shit. Okay. All right, well, 
now I know that I need to jump. Ah! Guess I need to make him land up. Oh, that was obs obscenely close. Assuming I need to do that one more time. Oh, you're not dead? Shit. Oh my god, no! And I gotta restart the whole fight? That's such crap. Oh, no, why did I break that? I should have left that there. No, come on, that's such crap. Why did that land up there? Ah, oh, shit! No! Ooh. Damn it! Why? Why am I running into all these games that are so freaking punishing? Like, the last demo I played was just like this. It was like... You make a small little mistake and like the game punishes you so heavily for it. No! Oh, bullshit! Ah! Come on, I hate that one hit freaking resets the room and you have to do everything again. Like, come on. Since when are games this difficult? God dang it. No! Come on! Are you fucking kidding me? Damn it. That's such crap. Ah. Really all the way in the edge. Do something this freaking punishing? Ah, fuck off! You're gonna do something this freaking punishing with a boss fight? You should at least have health. Such crap. Mess. 
Please let this be it. Are you dead? Thank you. Oh my lord. What are the runes for? They better have like a use. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, and I need one more? That's crap. It was already there. Oh, these games, these indie games are just trying to get me tilted. And they're doing really well at it. Damn it, I don't know why I didn't. Okay, no, we're not. Wait, what? All the way from here? Come on. Oh my god. Dang it, how do I get back now? Yeah, fast. Well, like, how do I keep going forward? Oh no! No! Damn it. That means I need to, I need to go speedy and that sex. Ah, shit. I thought I was gonna hit it. Oh, there's a rune up there. No! No, come on! Bullshit! supposed to get them. Oh, probably with this elevator. Nice. Oh, thank God. Pla the platforming in this game is brutal, and so is the, the boss fights are ridiculous. Oh, this must be to go back. Well, I mean, I got the rune I needed, so let's let's head back. Um, uh, where is this thing? I actually don't know. Thin dust. And what do these things even do? Alright, let's see what this does. Oh, okay, I guess that's the end of the demo. <laughs> Alright, um... Oh. So, definitely less tilting than the last demo I played, uh, whose name I shall leave unannounced. Um, but if you go and watch the, the rest of the playlist and the rest of the playthroughs for the demos, you'll easily find out which was the one that made me really tilt. Um, okay, so let's see. But let me, let me bring it back to this game. So, I like the level design. Um... The music is kind of repetitive, and I think it was the same tune throughout the entire area, but it could just be that that specific area had that tune as the sound. Um, the level design is really cool. It feels, and you know, even looking at these images right here, um, it's very like Mario. Um, you know, you have your jump, you have your wall jumps. Um, obviously, the mechanics are different, right? Like, the whole axe and the whole dashing is very different, but the level design... Uh, and how you progress and even some of the scenery seems heavily inspired on like Mario games um, Which is not a bad thing Mario Mario games are amazing um, 
and this was similar enough to it that it made me think of Mario, but it was the game itself is very different that I'm like, oh, this isn't just like a, like a copy of Mario. Uh, it's different enough that it was interesting. I like this one. This one was cool. Um, my only issue is with the fact that every time you get hit, you reset the room and you lose 10 coins. Um, and the whole losing coins reminded me of Sonic, how like when you get hit, you lose all your rings. Um, which is a brutal mechanic, but like, it's it's all right, you know? Like you you have two versions of health. Um, obviously, if you jump off the edge, you lose a life. And then if you get hit once while having rings, you lose all your rings, and then if you get hit a second time, then you die. But with this game, you get hit once, and you lose your rings, or your coins, you lose 10 coins, but you also reset the room. So if you're in the middle of a boss fight that takes four hits to kill, and you get hit in between hits three and four, you have to restart the entire boss fight. And I think that's nonsense. Um, so that lack of checkpoints was kind of aggravating, specifically in the boss fight. Like if you're platforming through a area, I think there was kind of okay. It was still kind of brutal to get hit and have to restart the entire area. Um, but that one I understand a bit more. The freaking boss fight though, like there should be a health mechanic. If you're gonna put that much combat into the game and you're even gonna have boss fights, there should be some form of health. Just like with Mario, right? Like Mario, you if you're um if you have the red mushroom, right? Like you're the tall version of Mario, you get hit once, you go to the smaller version, and then you get hit again. If you get hit again, then you die. But in here, it's one hit for everything. And that is so brutal to have to restart the entire fight just because you made a, a mistake, especially when the boss moves so freaking quickly and there's contact damage, uh, he's throwing stuff at you. So like, I felt like that was a little bit punishing and slightly unfair. Um, but overall, I think this is something you can overcome with like time, practice, and a little bit of git good. Um, so I'm not gonna <clears throat> I'm not gonna ding it as like a flaw or a big mechanic, but it's definitely something that could be tweaked to be improved. Um, the game is still not out; it's still just on like wishlisted. Uh, so I would hope uh, that that is something they change for the final version. Like once the game actually releases, I would like to see some form of health and health implementation. Maybe like get hit twice and then reset the room and the enemy is similar to how Mario and Sonic do it. Um, Cause this one hit nonsense is kind of, kind of brutal. But there you have it. That is uh, Jack Axe. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, you've enjoyed me playing through Jack Axe. Um, I liked it. I think it's a fun little game. I might, uh, you know, wish listed. You know, you know what? No, I'm definitely going to wish listed. And then when the game releases, um, I guess I will do a final assessment on whether or not I want to purchase the game. Uh, but it was fun. I, I am leaning towards wanting to purchase it. As of right now, I had a decent enough experience with the game where I think I'm going to purchase it. Uh, also, I am so glad I picked up a controller because this would have been a nightmare to play with a keyboard and mouse. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's uh, Jack Axe. Hopefully you found something useful in this playthrough. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of the game and have formulated a good opinionated opinion <laughs> we formulated a good constructive opinion on whether this is a game you would like to play or not um, and that's what i'm here for just to show you a game that this demo is not even available so this is uh probably a first look for a couple of y'all um but yeah i'm glad i was able to showcase this demo um and yeah if you liked it definitely go and wishlist it on steam and be ready for once the game uh fully releases um and yeah i think that's all i i got for y'all uh huge shout out and huge thanks to the indie houses for providing me this early access to uh, providing me early access to this demo and getting to try it out and showcasing it to my lovely viewers um but yeah that's it so Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will catch you next time. As always, remember, no game is ever safe.